This is my review and unboxing of the Line 6 Pod Studio UX2. As you can see, I have a Line 6 Spider 2 amplifier. The pedal goes with it. I wanted something that I could start recording with. Uh, unboxing it, it has this big flap right here. Uh, this is one of a series. Uh, they make one small one about this big that can hold only 12 hours. And then they make uh, a next size up that you can plug into your computer. I can't remember what it's called. Then you have the UX1, and then you have the UX2. This is the UX2, the $200 model. Uh, and basically you start by taking, opening this. First thing you get out is your firewire to USB cable that goes with it. Nice good length, about six foot, I guess, or five or six foot. Next part is the unit itself, the USB interface. Okay, so the different things between this one and the UX1. The UX1 only has one guitar input and one mic input. Also, with the mic, it does not have phantom power, so you have to have a microphone that has its own power. Well, with the UX2, there's this button right here. It's uh, plus 48 volts. It will send power to your microphone, so you don't have to have a powered microphone. Uh, there's two inputs. One for just normal. And then I've heard for high output pickups, you can put it in the second one, which says pad. But I'm not sure yet. I still have some reading to do. Uh, I'm almost positive these are the, uh, the level readers for the amount that's coming in. On the back, you have two analog outs right here monitor in this is so you can plug in like a mp3 player iphone ipad anything like that and listen to the music but seeing that this is a monitor in stereo monitor in it does not record anything it just plays the music so even if it's playing you don't have to worry about it recording one thing that this one has that the uh other ones don't is a SPDIF digital out. Uh, here's the USB. Where USB. Uh, this one actually has foot switch. Uh, you can buy a foot switch to go with this. One and two. And then uh, line inputs. One and two. No, one and two. On the top, you got your mic. Left, right. The amount of gain. Over here, you got your how much your headphones put out. I recommend if you don't have uh, everything on this is quarter inch, quarter inch, all the whole is quarter inch. Uh, for most microphones, they are not quarter inch; they are eighth inch. So I stopped by uh, any kind of technical store, and uh, I stopped by Radio Shack and got this stereo to stereo, eighth inch to quarter inch. No, I mean quarter inch to eighth inch, excuse me, and it just goes right in there. Cool thing about this one is not only can you have it going out to uh, a stereo or speakers, and you can also have your headphones on. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but some people listen, wear headphones while their music's going. I've never understood. And output up here controls the amount that's going out and out all these outputs so I thought that was pretty cool because the uh, the UX1 only has I believe just output not phone and output so, uh,
besides this, you get four driver discs. This is Riftworks 4, Live Light 7. This is the recording software. This is Reason Adapted. This has sound banks and all kinds of stuff, so you can. They have uh, artists such as Hart or uh, Eric Johnson that plays Cliffs of Dover. They have presets, so you don't have to keep searching for that exact sound in the song. It's they're automatically in the sound banks. And then last but not least, you got your pod farm. All your different amplifiers, cabs, I mean, basically the disc to run this. Once you uh, install these on your computer, put them somewhere safe. Because if your computer takes a crap and you lose these, how are you gonna how are you going to find any way of putting this back on? But that's it basically for this video. Uh, now I have to go install everything on my computer. And then after I get everything installed on my computer, I will uh, show what it all looks like. And uh, after that, once I learn how to work everything, I'll do a third review of how to work it. Uh, uh, all the cool features. I mean, I've been on YouTube and there's not that many reviews of this. And I mean, the only stuff I saw was a video of a computer screen. Well, I wanted to see more than just a computer screen. I wanted to see from the very beginning to the point that you purchase it and open it up out of the box to the point that you're actually using it. And that's what I'm going to try to do with these three videos. So this is the end of video one. I'll be doing video two as soon as I get everything installed. Thank you.